with Brad. Amazing, the new up and coming pitcher of the MLB. She's incredible. I just had the opportunity and I'm very blessed to play catch with him. And Brad, share with us about why superfoods, why raw, why, how is it going to transform the professional athletics? Well, you look at the state of affairs. That's a great question, by the way. You look at the state of affairs and what's happening in professional sports and say, like, look at baseball and say all the, all the, the stars and everything, they're all on steroids and they all have, you know, the, most likely a very uh, cattle-based diet and all that stuff, so they're all kind of hormone-laden. And we, when you look at what really plant food nutrition, superfood nutrition really offers to, uh, to health and ultimately to uh, athletic performance, um, gosh, about Two months ago, I was just listening to the sports stage scene in Boston, Mass, and they were talking about another guy getting caught on steroids, and all of a sudden, it's like, you know what, I, I, I can still do this. I can play baseball, and I can, you know, I've been eating this raw food stuff for like five plus years now, and I feel like my body feels like it's 19 or whatever, so I'm like, let me, let's, let's just stop throwing the ball around, and uh, out here at the Tree of Life, um, Rejuvenation Center, and there was another guy who played some college baseball. And we tried out for a professional uh, independent league team um, a few months ago, and I hadn't touched the ball in about 17 years. I said, oh, I'll pitch, and it felt pretty good. I, I was throwing mid 80s, and like I hadn't done anything, so that's cool. But I'm like, then, I, then about two weeks later, I was almost, I just started going every day, and I'm almost like at 90 miles an hour, 89, 90, about 90. And I'm going, holy cow, there's something here. And so, um, Obviously, when you're talking about alkalinity, acid alkaline balance, and what can happen as far as flexibility goes, and pitching is just a, a whip thing going on. Uh, so, like, I'm gonna kind of do this. And so, right now, right now, I have a tryout in about three weeks for the Red Sox organization uh, for pitching. Mm -hmm. And I have a love, you know, I've always had a love affair with baseball. I just thought. I never realized playing against kids, playing when I was playing in college and a little bit after college, a lot of those guys were on steroids then. I was competing against and stuff. So, thinking, well, now we got the, now we have the advantage because we're doing all these superfoods, beef pollens, goji berries, maca. <laughs> like natural rejuvenating energy. Natural rejuvenating energy, yeah. You remove all the garbage out of your body and you're left with what was, what the, you know, God intended. And so here we are. So the sky's the limit. And if you look at like David Wolf's research and a lot of the stuff that he's presented, um, showing how our best athletes are yet to come, most likely with the super food raw food thing, I uh, feel just you know, I will be done. You know, something's happening that's bigger than way bigger than me. I have a love affair with this little ball uh, mm -hmm. that has 108 stitches. And, uh, <laughs> 108. 108. Magic number. I know that's a magic number. So and you look at then we look at the actual. When I was a kid, I went to games, I collected baseball cards, and I was there for autographs, going to, the, going to the stadiums, eating hot dogs, eating, drinking Coca-Cola, doing all these things, and we'd looking up to our athletes who are pretty much like, they're higher up than any teacher, any parent, as far as being able to influence children uh, who, who are going to be, you know, they are taking you know, us into the next phase here. What do you think would happen if, if everyone in like on the Red Sox was on superfoods compared to like what you know what they're doing now? Everyone like on just the Red with Sox that awareness. Like, everyone well first of all we would think first of all we'll think about uh, the living ecology, think about the planet and stuff like that. Uh, first and foremost we would start healing the topsoil, which you know we come from you know, we come from the ground. Um, so when you look at that as far as the whole uh, Save a greening the planet, that would be huge. You know, professional athletes start going, you know, kids, goji berries, beef ball, and, you know, kale, and all the great stuff. Um, like externally, it would change oh, the world. Oh, externally, it would change the world, yeah. In yeah. internal ecology, external, same thing. Inside goes outside. Like new records, probably. I would like, suggest that you're probably going to see the speed of the fast baseballs will probably increase because of the whip like motion of it and stuff like that. I can see that. Um, I'm not, I don't know as far as how much the power with the steroids. These guys are bulky, hitting the ball really far. I don't know. I bet you're going to be faster on the base pass. You recoup, uh, rejuvenate better. Uh, you definitely, your mind is going to be most likely to focus a lot, a lot more. You're going to have it. Oh, new strategies. New strategies. New strategies. I like that. New strategies. The whole new game, actually. When I look at baseball now, it's like thump, like thumper ball, versus it's going to be more like more chess. What's uh, the old school? I think it was invented. And then as a pitcher, you may even have like heightened um, intuition on 
like the batters even and yeah. like what's actually happening. If you look at like we're non-local, if you think like we're all connected and when you quiet the mind, you get rid of the mind and you think you're just like a tuning fork of intuitive understanding. Right. Yeah, you could be reading You have these secret weapons. Totally secret. There you go. Yeah, this is the baddest thing I'm going to throw a fastball. Curveball. <laughs> right. Right. You're going to have little kids collecting your baseball cards. Oh, that's going to be fun, you know, going into schools and stuff like that, handing out all the higher end foods and all that. And take, Super Brad. Super Brad. There we go. Like, I'll be the guy, like, after the game, the stadium clears out, I'll be taking the Coca Cola sign off the, uh, off the, off it and putting up, you know. The green algae. The green algae. The green algae. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so it's fun. I mean, it's all, it's, uh, it seems just like the energy has to just, this energy has to go somewhere because we have so, we have so much, we have so much love and so much joy and so much abundance with this way of lifestyle that, um, when we're here, you know, play that out, mm -hmm. I'm still a big kid at the heart level. And, uh, and it's such a beautiful message to share because people look up to you guys, you know, as professional athletes and... That's the most, there you go. The effect that you have on, on uh, communicating to, to, to millions and millions of uh, little beings who, who you are, what you eat, and um, you know, they're just getting indoctrinated right away, and all of a sudden, you know, now they're going to be eating things that are enhancing the vibration and stuff like that. It's, it's choosing that ultimately, probably taking their parents to the games and going, you know, these athletes, mom, they're my favorite athletes eating this. Why can't we have this on the dinner table now? Or what right. about the superfood smoothies with medicinal mushrooms? And, Right. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess, um, something happening. Yes, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. It's huge. You are part of changing the world, transformation. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to present and be excited uh, on the camera. Well, Brad, you're amazing, and I look forward to seeing you. And by the way, uh, the girls filming this video has got a freaking arm and a half. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, you know, you can try out, or you might want her too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be sharing the super food love. Super food love. Alright, can I get a go raw? Oh, you can definitely get a go raw. That's awesome. <laughs> go raw. <laughs> Very cool.